everyone. Today's video is all about supplements, the what, the why, and the when. But before I get into the video, I wanted to make a very important note first off. So supplements are exactly what they are called. They are there to supplement. They do not replace a healthy balanced diet and if you are eating um, really good foods you're having different colors in your diet you have a well-rounded balanced diet you shouldn't really need to use supplements at all however we all know that um, a lot of the time that isn't possible and it can help enhance and improve our performance when we are training as well which is why I'm going to get into this video Another thing to point out that I would recommend is if you are using some sort of supplement, whether it be fat burners, whey protein, um, BCAAs, whatever, I would recommend going on a break at some point once you've finished your container just to give your body a bit of a rest. So for example, if you are taking pre-workout for two months, say, um, I would have a break from pre-workout for two months once my tub is done. That is just able to let your body recover, it's able to flush everything out of the system. Remember supplements are very heavily processed, a lot of them contain many many chemicals. So first of all we have everyone's favourite, oh the lighting just changed. Sorry. <laughs> uh, first off, we have whey protein. Now, whey protein, or WPI, which stands for whey protein isolate, is a form of protein that your body is easily and quickly able to digest. Why should we take whey protein? Now, while many of us do struggle to reach our protein intake for the day, whey protein can be great as a snack throughout the day to keep your protein levels up where they should be. And they can also be taken after your workout um, to help prevent your body going into a catabolic state. Now, what is a catabolic state? When you are going in for a hard, say an hour long weight training session and you're pushing it, you're giving it 100%, once you finish your workout, your body is very depleted of glycogen and it's needing food to help repair the muscles that have torn during your workout. Because whey protein is so quickly digested, if you smash a drink of protein within 30 minutes of your workout, um, post-workout, sorry, then your body is able to use that protein to um, restore your and replenish your muscles instead of your muscle on your body. The more muscle you have on your body, the more toned you look, you're able to have um, a nicer shape, and of course, the more muscle you have, you also are less likely to become injured during your workout. When should we take whey protein? The best time to take whey protein as a general thumb, um, rule of thumb, is within 30 minutes after your training session for the day. However, a lot of people take it as snacks as well, which is perfectly fine. I shove them in my smoothies every day. It just makes my smoothies taste a lot nicer. Next, we have pre-workouts. Now, pre-workouts are designed to enhance your performance uh, during your training session. Different pre-workouts have different ingredients which will enhance different areas of your training. Pre-workouts can enhance and support energy, your strength, your endurance or lean muscle gain. There are different main ingredients in pre-workouts that you will find. One of them is caffeine. Now, as we all know, caffeine is a stimulant and if it's included in your pre-workout, which it most likely is, it's a pre-workout, um, then it will help increase your energy throughout that session. We also have creatine, which is a very popular ingredient in pre-workouts. Creatine helps um, improve blood flow and oxygen to your muscle cells so that you don't burn out as quickly. Next we have beta alanine. Now when you're training your body builds up a lot of lactic acid. If you've ever felt sick during or after a workout session it's because your body has lactic acid in your tummy and so it's making you feel all yucky and gross but um, yes when you are training and pumping those weights 
lactic acid builds up inside your muscle fibers which can prevent you from getting through your set beta alanine um, kind of acts as a block and it stops that lactic acid from building up inside you this happens because it makes your body less acidic and the beta alanine is the ingredient that a lot of people say um, when they feel that tingly feeling or um, itchy feeling in their body after they've taken pre-workout it's usually the beta alanine inside of it when should you take pre-workout you should take pre-workout approximately um, 15 to 20 minutes before your training session by then once you get into the gym or once you get to boot camp or whatever you're doing it should have entered your system and you should be really pumped up and ready to go next we have fat burners probably the next most popular supplement women use now fat Fat burners are designed to essentially get your body to burn more fat throughout the day. Now it can do this through different things. It can curb your appetite, it can increase your metabolism and speed your heart rate up, it can increase your body temperature so that your body needs to work to cool your body down and it can also boost your energy so that you're moving a lot more throughout the day and of course burning more calories as a result. Why did we take fat burners? basically to burn more fat. Now, while a lot of fat burners are crap and a lot of them can help pretty good, um, if you're not eating a well-balanced diet filled with nutrient-dense, wholesome foods and you're not exercising regularly, fat burners, that they're, they're not really gonna do anything. So don't waste your time with them. I personally don't take it and I don't really recommend it to my clients either however of course a lot of us especially for our mentality need that bit of a boost so if that's your thing go ahead now different fat burners you take at different times depending on the brand and the way it's designed however most of them you take first thing in the morning or in the morning and afternoon branch chain amino acids or BCAAs are the building blocks of muscle they're amazing for those who don't eat meat as they do promote muscle growth so vegans and vegetarians BCAAs are great to include in your training routine if you don't already have them why should we take BCAAs now branch chain amino acids are awesome for the body they can help speed up the recovery process and prevent muscle soreness they are able to get you to work harder and longer during your workout sessions it helps your body stimulate muscle growth um, through protein synthesis and BCAAs can also help you mentally throughout your workout as well to push to the end and give it your all when should we take BCAAs I personally um, chuck it in my shaker and sip it throughout my training session however a lot of people like taking them first thing in the morning before your workout after your workout it's really up to you however I recommend to my clients to sip it throughout their training session that's basically it I tried to keep this video as simple and dumbed down as possible as it can be very easily to start rambling into the science of everything so um, that's it guys we have whey protein fat burners BCAAs and pre-workout I hope you all have a better understanding of what they are when to take them and how they can help you I'll see you in my next video bye